Back with us, the CEO of Otherworld Computing, Larry O'Connor. How are we all doing tonight? Having a good show? Looking forward to winning some OWC gear? Really? Okay. I'll tell you what, it's great to be back. You know, as always, I mean, we enjoy coming to our our latest Thunderbolt gear. That's kind of been the, uh, the theme the last few years. This year we've got some great Thunderbolt 3 stuff, our dock. About to ship in a couple of days, our Thunder Base 6, six drives plus a, an SSD for super accelerated, super redundant storage. But you know, I'll skip all the boring stuff. We've also got our deck here. You know, we kind of put the, the MacBook Pro, put the Pro back in the MacBook. So for those on the field who are missing those ports, you know, come by and look at our booth, you know, 8905. You know, this is, you know, this is why we're here. I mean, we're here to enhance your productivity, you know, make your lives easier, give you products so that you don't have to think about you know, what you're doing with your technology. You're using your technology to express your creativity. And tonight I have uh, with me uh, Tim Stanley from Softraid and Sarita Contani from Contani Productions that are going to you know, really share some great information with you, show you some great stuff in terms of you know, what you can be thinking about and what you ideally won't have to be worried about anymore. And from there, uh, I will let Tim take it away. So thanks for having us. Have a great show. Hi. I'm Tim Standing. I'm a Vice President of Software Engineering for OWC Holdings. Um, we're a partner with OWC. We do all of the driver development. We also um, have been developing SoftRaid and support SoftRaid. If, uh, if you ever email SoftRaid for support at 11 o'clock at night and get a response, it's our team who's doing it. Um, so SoftRaid's been around for 21 years. That's sort of a long time from the software world. I've been working on it for 20. I can't believe that it's gone that quickly. Um, when I first started out, I was like really excited about making drives faster, making volumes faster. I'd stay up at night trying to figure out how to get like that extra millisecond out of a one meg megabyte transfer. Um, and then something happened in 2003. I joined a volunteer fire department, and I started going on fire calls and seeing people's houses that had burned down, and their computers looked like a tin can that had been in a, a campfire. And these people lost everything. They lost their, their photos, they lost their business records, they lost their um, just absolutely everything. And so I really quickly changed my viewpoint on software development from let's make it as fast as possible to let's make it as reliable f as possible first and then make it fast as the second thing. So um, focus on reliability and, and speed comes second. We still work really hard on speed. And if you go to the OWC booth or go out to our table, you'll see this, which is a product that OWC is going to be shipping in July. It does indeed, this is not a Photoshop screenshot, it does indeed do 4 megabytes a second writing and 4.6 reading. This is um, striping together two of these Vipers that um, OWC is going to ship. They're not going to be outrageously expensive. They're really reliable. They're totally quiet. They have no fan. And they're, they just kick butt. You know, I, I saw this, um, this screen when I first did this test, and I was like super excited. It brought me back to those early coding days when I'd get something to work and be so proud of it. And this is one of those things. The hardware engineer is fabulous. He's using SoftRaid, and this is the result he gets. Um, <clears throat> So go and check it out. It's really cool. It's, I, the, I talked to so many people today who said, oh my god, that can't be true. And it is true. It's actually true. It's going to be shipping in a several months. And um, I think it's really fabulous. So now I'm going to um, switch gears a little bit. I'm going to show you a video. The night you guys hooked me up to that machine it may have been the most, most terrifying experience of my life. As a media manager, I strive to make sure. Oops. What went wrong? If this is, if you're like every other video, you look at video editor, you look at this clip and you go, oh my god, I've got a hardware problem, right? And usually it's a disk drive. And usually when a disk drive fails, it's right when you, it's like right before the client shows up, it's right before you've got to go final. In my case, it always seems to happen like three days before I'm going to ship a major release of SoftRaid. Um, it's, or I'm writing a magazine article, and I've got the final edit, and my drive goes down. The last thing you want to do is have to change gears, go get stuff off the backup, do a RAID rebuild. You really just want to be focusing on your work, not on your disk drives. Wouldn't it be great if there was some way of getting advance notice that your drive was going to fail? 
right? So you could actually schedule, you say, oh, my drive is gonna fail in like a couple months, so I should, I should schedule a weekend where I can like re do my RAID rebuild or copy everything off onto the new drive or get a new enclosure, whatever it is, but prepare for the problem. So um, with SoftRAID, anyone who's been using SoftRAID since version four, which came out in 2010, you know that we've been doing this. We've been warning people that um, drives are unreliable, please replace it, you've got two months, if you're lucky, maybe only a week. Uh, so we first started doing this in 2010, we, we updated it in 2000, um, uh, 2014 when we came out with version five, we made it a little bit more user friendly. It's still the same basic engine. And it's using um, Smart, Smart is this technology that was put into disk drives about 15 years ago. The whole idea behind it was, hey, the disk drive has a computer in it, it can test itself, it can tell you whether it's good or not. Um, the problem is that it's like, you know, the, the manufacturers don't want to say their drives are bad because if they do, they've got to RMA them and send you a new one and do a free warranty replacement. So they always pass their tests. So the, the smart test itself is pretty useless. But the smart parameters, these things called smart attributes, are counters that are in the drive that we can so use software to pull out. And they're things like, how long has the drive been running? How many hours? Um, how many times has the how many uh, sectors have been reallocated, how many times has it powered up, all this stuff. And what I found in 2007 was this great study that Google had done. Google had gone through, and two engineers had gone through and set up some code that sucked out all of the smart parameters every 24 hours for all 100,000 drives they had in 2007. And then they waited, and they waited to see when a drive failed. When a drive failed, they looked back in time and they saw, so is there a smart parameter that changed just before the drive failed? And if there was a smart parameter that changed, they knew that they could possibly use it as a prediction. So they looked for a correlation, and they found three smart parameters that were like just gold for, for predicting when a drive was going to fail. And these are the number of reallocated sectors, the number of unreliable sectors, which are sectors that the drive is about to reallocate but hasn't quite yet decided to reallocate, and the number of times that the drive was completely unable to correct an error end to end. Um, you know, I was a little worried about this data because it's seven, 10 years old at this point, but Backblaze over the last three years has started using the same methodology for, for um, and they've been publishing their results and they've also been publishing the brand of drives. I, hats off to them. Every quarter they put out a blog entry. It lists the drives that are failing. It lists all the, the smart statistics. They've been really open about it. And it's, it's basically um, totally validated our our, build, our model of predicting drive failure. So what we find is um, the drives that, of all the drives that fail, 75% of them are predicted to fail by soft raid a week or a month before they actually fail. This is advance notice. This is advance notice you can use to go and buy a new drive and, um, and you know, put it in and schedule a time, have your tech guy put it in, or just schedule a time when it's low stress. You do not want to be doing this an hour before you know, an important client comes in, an hour before an important pitch, or in my case, an hour before you're starting to, uh, to you know, or a day before you want to ship a new version of SoftRaid. So um, the, one of the number one requir requests we've had over the last you know, a couple of years is, hey, how about just doing a product that just does this one feature? I want my graphic artist to use it. I want my administrator to use it. I want my IT guy to use it. You know, I don't want to just have to, I don't want to have to buy software to do it. So what we did was we split off all of this um, technology into a new product. And um, yes, it is going to be free. It's called Smart Alec. It, all it does, it's a, it's, it's something I've been dreaming about for two years, so I'm super excited that it's seen the light of day. I love the name, I love the simplicity of it. The goal is that someone who knows relatively little about computers can A, install it, B, run it, and C, know the results. So it's gonna be downloadable from the a Apple's App Store. It's gonna be free, as I say. It just runs, it's like a one-trick pony. It does one thing and it does one thing really well. It just watches your disk drives, uses the same algorithms that we use for SoftRaid. Um, when there's a problem with your disk drive, it'll just pop up a warning thing. There's no like list of smart parameters expecting you to be a computer nerd and understand them. No, it just says, your drive is predicted to fail, you get a um, yellow bar, your drive is has already failed, you get a red bar. 
And then there's, if you need help, there's a form to get help stuff, and that's it, you're done. So um, it started public beta on, um, yesterday. You can go to our, um, our, our site and download and apply for the beta copy. We just want to get your email address so we can follow up with you. You can download it. Please use it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It's really stable. It has no driver. It's not going to introduce any um, fragility or, or um, you know, instability in your computer. Okay. Um, so with that, I'm going to close. I'm going to introduce Serena Catania. Serena is um, the head of the Catania Group. She's one of the co-founders of um, the Sundance Film Festival. I met her a year ago um, due to a, an absolute horrific thing that happened with all her uh, locally attached storage. I'll let her describe it to you. Um, but she is um, one of the people I've met this year who has incredible passion. And I find Hi. that... I find that passion is really unusual in this world, and I think that people who are really passionate are fabulous, and they really give me life in, in my world oh my and my God. work, and I love having met her. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> you know what? I feel like Beyonce. Do I look like Beyonce? Okay. How many have seen this ticket before? You know what comes with this ticket? You have to say, I am awesome. Can you try it? Can you try it? Because we are. I am awesome. Oh, you can do better than that. Please. One more time. One more time. I am awesome. That's awesome. Good job. So I want to say, Thank you to OWC for sponsoring me. And I'm going to run around on the stage and be out of breath in about two minutes because I love being up here saying hi to all you guys. So this is about riding the storm to success. I can't use the F word because mixed audience. This is how I was raised. I was a military brat. I was told to sit up straight, wear my white gloves, behave, follow the rules. And of course, I didn't. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that I don't take no for an answer and I'm very hard to tell me what to do. So how many of you have ever felt like in your career you are nowhere? It's happened to me many times, right? You felt like you were nowhere. Where do I go? Do I keep doing this? Am I going to make a living? Well, I want you to change your attitude. I want you to say, now, here. And that's the theme of tonight. The theme of tonight is about relationships. And it's about living in the now. I was at the 2016 Berlinale, and I was watching a movie called Zero Days by Academy Award winning Alex Gibney. And a year ago, almost to the day, as I was leaving for Supermeet, I had 100 terabytes attached to my computer system, and it all got lost. Every bit of it. 100 terabytes. My film, Cowboy Country. A month of filming surviving videos in the, in the uh, jungles of Peru. My film about Keontae's story, a wounded Marine who I'm trying so hard to help get the word out about. Everything I had done with Danny Glover in the United Nations, gone. Two generations of an American family. Ten years of working on that film. Actually, a series. Gone. And my dad, as he was dying, made me a tape as a surprise because he knew I wanted to do the story of his love story. And that was gone, too. It was really heartbreaking. So this was what I call the graveyard of some of the drives that got hacked. We started getting some of the stuff back, but it was looking pretty bad, really bad. These are some of the files that started coming back. But I have to tell you that OWC, Soft Raid, and enlisting the help of Drive Savers, a year later, I, it started coming back. And in one partition alone, there was over 350,000 files with no metadata. You guys in this room know how hard that is to call through. But I'm happy to say that a year later, I would say about 80 or 90% of it is back. And could you please help me say thank you to OWC? 
I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right. So success is not just about us. And this is an example of how important relationships are. The people sitting next to you in this room, the relationship that you have, that's what's important. I was working on a, on a directing a film for National Geographic about chasing lightning with Tim Samaras and Karsten Peter. And I'm with Tim and his wife. It's the middle of the night, and we're looking at the black anvil, and he says, now I know why I do this. Two years later, he was gone. I worked on a film for Danny Glover with two amazing executive producers, and I wrote them this thank you note because they were so great to me during the production, and I never sent it. And last year, Dave died. So these are the people that work so hard for us. This was actually taken on the set of a racing film, eight camera shoot. These poor guys were so tired. We need to take time to think about if we're going to be successful, love the people around you, care about them, respect them, be brave, be creative, but work as a team. So this is a quote that I really like. There are two goddesses in your heart, the goddess of wisdom and the goddess of wealth. Everyone thinks they need to get wealth first and wisdom will come. So they concern themselves with choosing money but they have it backwards. You have to give your heart to the goddess of wisdom. Give her all your love and attention, and the goddess of wealth will become jealous and will shower you and follow you. We are artists. We create beauty and creativity just from scratch. But there's a point in all of our lives, and I know we've all been there, where you've been working so hard, like this movie that I've been working on for 10 years. You've been working so hard, you go, I can't go anymore, I can't go anymore. But you can't look back, because if you look back, everything you will have done prior to that will be gone. Most people who die climbing mountains die within a few hundred yards of the top of the mountain peak because they get so tired, they don't think they can go one more step. So I say, bring it on. We need some fresh air. Bring it on. So I thought maybe you guys would like to watch a couple minutes of the film that OWC helped rescue. Do you want to? It's OK. Please don't judge me. I'm not an editor. Thank God Carlos was there. He helped do a couple quick tweaks. And the grading is, it's not graded yet. Uh, and the sound is rough, because we're still looking for the major sound. But anyway, this is it. This is Keontae's story.
thank you all so much. And uh, Keontae is trying very hard to do whatever he can to help other people with what he has learned. So what's this domino on my seat? I don't know how many of you know what the domino is. I put the domino there. That's a present from me to you. I bought them myself. That's my kids tell me whenever I'm having a hard time to put something in my pocket to remind me that I'm loved. And so give it to somebody who's having a hard time and who needs it. Keep it for yourself. But I just want you to know that you are awesome and you are loved. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.